Bishop Young Church of England Academy has recently opened as a new academy as part of the Abbey Walt Academy Trust. And I've recently joined the school along with a team of, of outstanding leaders and outstanding teachers from some of the best schools across, across the region. And we are really, really excited to be bringing, to be able to bring outstanding teaching and learning to the students in this school and to the local community. My background personally is in inclusion and one of the things that I'm really excited about and passionate about is to, to be given the opportunity to develop an environment where students feel safe, they feel happy and they feel really, really well supported in school. So we've recently brought in a brand new pastoral team. We have a vertical system now and we have lots of, of, of different layers of support for the students. We've got a brand new special educational needs team with a full team of teaching assistants as special educational needs coordinator assistant, special needs coordinator. We have a full-time careers advisor in the school. We have um, educational psychology support within the school and full-time school counsellors. So we are really confident that our students are, 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 are incredibly well looked after when they're in the academy. And actually, when they're outside of the academy as well, because we work closely with families, we have two full-time family support workers. Student outcomes are really important, and as I've mentioned, teaching and learning has improved dramatically and will continue to improve. Students are getting a really good deal at Bishop Young. And, and are being taught by some of the best teachers around. They will achieve well here and we, we monitor their progress from the start of year seven and we challenge them from the start of year seven and we stretch them from the start. But we monitor their progress throughout each year group and ultimately any students who are underachieving, underachieving are picked up early and we ad address those issues with intervention. Um, so students will achieve well and they will get good results at the end of GCSE and at the end of A-level courses. And that's really important to us. But for me, from my background, and for us as a church school, and our Christian values being so important to us, what is equally as important, if not more important, is that we develop our students as young people and we focus on those soft skills, those really important skills such as resilience and some of the leadership skills that will help the students cope with the courses in school and the challenges of school life and life in general but also to prepare the students for life outside of school so when they move on to the next stage of their journey away from Bishop Young they can function effectively as really effective members of society so we have a full range of enrichment um, opportunities for students from year seven, right the way through to year 11 and including year 11. We have timetabled enrichment lessons all the way through. So we do put a lot of emphasis on those soft skills. But alongside that, and I, and I come from a background uh, as a PE teacher, alongside that we have a full range, an outstanding extracurricular program actually. So we have a full range of clubs and societies which run every lunchtime, every day after school so there is something something for everyone and we challenge every one of our students at the start of the year to get involved in at least one club and we check that they are and we feel strongly that if if students do get involved in those wider um, in the wider aspects of school life such as clubs such as societies such as teams then they will feel happy they will feel confident and if they feel happy and confident in school they will achieve we're also really, um, we're putting a lot of emphasis at the moment, and we will as we move forwards, into developing partnerships, both within the local community with parents, and we're developing a parent council uh, at the moment, but also with the local community groups, but, but further afield, so we're looking to give our students opportunities to, for example, travel to Ethiopia in November, to Addis Ababa to meet partners out there. We're looking to galvanise the local Ethiopian community and, and, and develop opportunities for, for us to work together. We're in talks with the local Zimbabwean community as well to look at how we can work effectively with them um, in a mutually beneficial way as we move forward. So these really are truly exciting times. We are on a mission, we've, we've set ourselves a target of two years to be judged as a good 
school and three years to produce as an outstanding school and we are well on our way to achieving that so that, as I said these are truly exciting times and I'm incredibly excited to be part of it.